Welcome to the DMZ. Today, we're gonna take a deep dive into the close range meta for DMZ season four. A lot has changed since the introduction of the 50 extra player HP in DMZ season four. That makes it so that three plated players go from a total of 250 HP to 300 HP, drastically changing the meta. So as you can see, I've gathered data from sources like True Game Data and SimGG. These are credible sources of data as they pull this directly from the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 database. Now in this chart, you can see that I've gathered SMGs, shotguns, a few ARs, and a qualifying battle rifle. I've highlighted important stats like close TTK, ADS speeds, reload speeds, and DPM. Now let's talk about ADS speeds. This is a very important stat for close range PVP in DMZ. Because if you're versus another player, the first person to raise their gun usually wins the fight, though there are exceptions. And in close quarter engagements, you don't always have time to raise your gun in advance. So things like ADS speeds become very important. Next, we need to talk about DPM. DPM is not as important on SMGs, and the reason being is that SMGs excel at reload speeds. And reload speeds are important because even if you run out of your magazine because it has a low DPM, you'll reload quickly and be back in the fight. The last thing I need to mention here is that the TTK calculated here is using upper chest. And the reason being is that in a close range engagement, that is more practical to hit those upper chest shots. So with that out of the way, let's dig into the data. So this chart right here is sorted by close range TTK. Now, the first two weapons that we need to take note of are the KV Broadside and the ISO 45. If you're looking at these, these things have the best TTK in close range quarters by a mile. Nothing else beats them. And with that said, they're going to be absolute meta. But maybe you don't like these weapons, maybe you don't have them leveled up or what have you. There's still other great options that we can go about. Now, if we're looking at these other options, you're gonna see something like the MX-9. Now the MX-9 is green almost all the way across the board. Like I said, DPM isn't super important for SMGs. It has an amazing reload speed, amazing ADS times, and amazing close TTK. But this thing has a maximum magazine size of 32. So you're gonna be reloading so frequently that in some cases may get you eliminated. Now, we also have the Chimera, but something to note about the Chimera is because it's an assault rifle, you also have to take into the factor that if you like to use long range rifles or long range LMGs, pairing this with that is gonna make it so you're using double the ammunition, which for some people isn't good, which is why you generally stick with things like SMGs if that's what you're choosing to use as your long range options. Now, we look at the Lockman Sub, AKA the MP5. It's always been a phenomenal choice though it does fall short in its reload speed when using the 50 round magazine. Note that all of these weapons are using the maximum magazine sizes so that we can get the highest DPM value possible. And realistically, that's usually what you're gonna wanna run. We also go into the yellow TTK weapons, being the Hurricane, the Vaznev, the Vel, etc. Now, the first three that I mentioned, the Hurricane, the Vaz, and the Vel, are looking like incredible options this season. Even though their stats aren't as quick as something like the ISO or the KV Broadside, which, to be frank, looking at this data, those two weapons will probably get nerfed eventually, though they are completely meta right now. But when looking at these other weapons, these three right here really stand out as phenomenal options. Now, Something else I wanna go and touch on is that something like the Bryson 800 or the Bryson 890 show a lot of red in their stats. But the thing is, is that shotguns are just, to be honest, a bit complicated in this game. So the one thing that this also won't show is that these weapons will one-shot AI, which is super effective for clearing PVE throughout the DMZ. Now, if you wanna know how these fare against players, make sure to check out Gumi on YouTube as he really breaks them down. Now, with that all to the side, and with all the stats here, feel free to look through these and make decisions on your own, but I'm gonna show you guys a bunch of builds that I believe are the meta in DMZ Season 4. So let's get into it. All right, so in these builds, we have two shotguns, we have five SMGs and three assault rifles. The first one is going to be the KV broadside. I'm just gonna quickly go through the tuning. You guys can feel free to pause, rewind, whatever you need to do to get that. So we're gonna go off with the gunner barrel, the stock has no tuning, neither does the dash bolt, and neither does the drum. All we have tuning left on is the Dragon's Breath ammunition. This thing is absolutely meta, you guys. It should hopefully get nerfed because it's completely annoying. Something that also isn't shown in the stats is that Dragon's Breath rounds almost blind your enemies when you're spamming shots at them, making this thing even more overpowered than it already is. 
The next weapon we're gonna move to is the Bryson 800. Now the Bryson 800 and the Bryson 890 are really similar, so to use whichever one you want with a very similar build, you're also going to notice that I put a suppressor on here, and the reason being is that with the new season four update, suppressors are super important on the majority of your weapons because that's going to help keep you off the radar if you are wearing something like a stealth plate and somebody's popped any type of UAV technology. Now with this, we have this right here with this tuning, this right here with this tuning, this right here with this tuning, this cannot be tuned, and this right here with this tuning. This thing is most amazing for taking out AI. So if you're looking for something to shred through AI in building 21, Koshe Complex, or the havoc that is, you know, Vondel with its zombie horde survival mode going on, this is a really good weapon for that. The next thing we have up is our first SMG. That is going to be the ISO. This thing is absolute meta, you guys. If you haven't leveled this thing up, do it now, this thing absolutely shreds. This is the tuning that we're gonna have for this right here. Now there's something else I wanna keep in mind about this weapon, and we'll go over that in just a second after I show you the tuning here. So, I've shown you all the tuning. The thing is, is that this weapon has absolutely terrible, in my opinion, iron sights. I mean, I can't see the guy over here when I'm looking at this guy because it's just blocking my view, right? now. If you want the added benefit that this thing gives you right here, which is going to be a little bit of recoil control to help with using those iron sights, you can do that. But if you want to take it off and throw on, you know, an optic like a Slimline Pro or a Cronin Mini, I would absolutely advise it because the thing is that, again, this thing has terrible irons, but you go and put on a little red dot and it's much more manageable of a weapon. All right, so you guys use whatever you want for that. If you wanna put an optic on, go ahead and take the rear grip off. That's my advice. Now we're gonna move on to the next SMG. The next SMG is going to be the MP5. We're gonna go ahead and go with this tuning. I don't really need to dive too much into this one. You guys already know why this thing's amazing. It's, you know, it's been a, it's been a staple since, you know, the beginning of this game as and i assume that it's probably not going to receive much changes throughout the future and it's always going to be at least a pretty decent option we're then going to move into an option that i think a lot of people won't expect and that is the hurricane the hurricane is a bit underrated this season you guys i would definitely give this one a go if you're somebody that's into you know a little bit of an off meta um, or something like that this thing's actually really incredible and you're probably going to see me personally using it a bit more often then we're going to go to our fourth SMG. That's going to be the Vaznev. This one, just like the MP5, is an absolute staple. You really can't go wrong with it. And it's incredible in DMZ because it's one that you can find on the ground pretty often, especially in like Almazra. And you can go ahead and kit this thing up and be good to go without even needing an insured slot. And you can really start stockpiling your um, contraband with things like kitted Vaznevs. The next thing we have is the MP7. This is our last SMG. This thing is an absolute beast and some of you i know you already know that it's an absolute beast but the rest of you you need to jump on this thing this thing is incredible you guys this thing has such good time to kill at long range which a lot of other smgs don't really have you know something else to keep in mind is this has a 50 round magazine the data was calculated using the 60 round so you can absolutely feel free to use this 50 or 60 kind of just depends on how you feel about it both are absolutely phenomenal the next thing we're gonna go into is our first assault rifle. That is going to be the Chimera. The Chimera is easily the most competitive close range assault rifle in the game. At long range, it falters, but in close range, it is absolutely dominant. We're gonna go ahead and use the following tuning with this. And the thing about this, this has an integrated suppressor, so we don't actually have to put one on, which is absolutely amazing. We go ahead, we put an optic on this one because similar to the ISO, it has terrible iron sights. Though if you wanna take it off, feel free to and put whatever you want on it, honestly. The next weapon we're gonna move into is the Cast Off 7.4U. This is the second best assault rifle for close range in DMZ. This thing is amazing, also just like the Vaznev. It's one that you can find on the ground through AI and Almazra. You can kit this thing out and be good to go. Now it isn't as good as something like the ISO 45. It's an SMG, it's built for close range it's usually going to be better than something like these ARs. But if you like an AR, if you like the way it feels, if you like hitting it, or maybe you like using it with your sniper or something like that, this is a good option. The third and last option, which might be a little unsuspected, is the M4. The M4 is the third best close range assault rifle in DMZ. This thing is incredible. Now, this one in particular is really, 
really built for close range. Also, it's another gun that you can occasionally find in DMZ, so you can go ahead and kit it up with a build like this if you're looking for that close range type weapon. You can also bring it from a 45 round to a 60 round magazine. That's perfectly fine. It's not gonna hurt the gun too much, but it kind of brings it a little bit more away from that SMG, you know, speed and handling, and a little more into that AI, AR territory. So, hope you guys appreciated videos like this. You guys really seem to have liked the long range video. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. I will be working on more videos like this if you guys request. I know a lot of you guys have been mentioning sniper rifles, and I'm sure you also are wondering about sniper supports. While some of these could be used as sniper supports, they're not exactly designed for that, so keep that in mind. Sniper support builds are built a little bit differently. So if you guys would like to see snipers, sniper support builds, and some other things like that, make sure to leave a like as that's super important and helps the channel grow. There's also comment down below and let me know, you know, how you feel about the builds that we have here, you know, what guns you have been running and what other guns you guys would like to see me kind of break down. As always, I appreciate you guys. You know, you're helping the algorithm and you're helping me and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.